Break and retest strategy is one of the foundation strategies that I have seen there. All my strategy, they use the break and retest. And I will not lie to you guys and I tell you, oh, I have a unique strategy. All my strategy comes from break and retest a concept. So in this video, I want to show you how can you take an advantage of this strategy if you are a beginner or you are someone who wants to understand the market in a better way. So in this video, I want to share with you a break and retest strategy and you can try to backtest it if it works for you well and good. If it does not, we will still keep tr uh, training here and helping you with other more strategies because what can work for me may not work for you. So always know that that any time that you open your chart, let's say you open your chart right now, the first thing that you need to understand is that what is working for me. So the minute you get what is working for you, you are good to go. So in this video, I want us to discuss break and retest, okay? So before even I go to the chart, let's just get an understanding what is break and retest a concept so anytime we talk of break and retest we want either to see a market that is going on an uptrend an uptrend and then i will show you what is break and retest or a market that is going on a downtrend so break and retest does not apply on a ranging market because there's nothing that is breaking. So it applies on a downtrend market or an uptrend market. The reason I'm saying it does not apply on the ranging is because it has already told us that they don't want to break. So the sideways market does not, uh, we don't consider break and retest. So in such a case, when we talk of break of the market, what do we mean? When you talk of break, understand uh what even is breaking of the market the breaking can either happen in two things so we can either break a resistance or we break a support okay so when you hear someone say break and retest strategy they are either saying I have mastered how resistance is being broken by a market. I have understand how support is being broken by a market. Are we together? Another thing, if you, you now know break and retest strategy is about resistance and support, another question you have, you have to ask yourself is what is a resistance? What is a support? And how are they formed? So you see, sometimes you may not know of a concept not because you're a slow learner, not because you don't know, because maybe you are old, you are in your 50s, 60s, maybe you are a slow learner or your grades were not good at school. It's just because of how the information is laid in your understanding. Some people will just tell you break and retest strategy, but they will never tell you how to plan. How do they follow each other? By the time we are coming to say break and retest strategy, a lot of things have happened on the way. And that's what I'm trying to unveil to you. So by the time we understand that this is an uptrend, remember an uptrend is a market structure, but before we have a market structure, we had price action of one candle. So for us first, we understand, if you're watching me and you want to understand how resistance is formed, how support is formed, I will explain to you. So anytime you want to understand that, what is my resistance? What is my support? Why am I checking? So many people have found that they will open a chart like this and they will start marking their resistance if you are analyzing like this. So for them, they, they either know resistance is the highest point or a place where the market has touched so many times. So this person will try to mark all this kind of resistance not understanding what resistance actually is. So their chart will look like that. So once they have all this resistance, they don't know which one now will I use. So there are people who analyze like this. They have all those resistance. And then again, they start analyzing support. You can imagine if again I start analyzing support, my chart will be full of so many things. Like if I analyze my support or they come here, they don't understand. Do I take this support or do I take this? Is what is not happening? So instead of analyzing like this, I'm showing you a simpler way. So for you, you need to understand one thing that for break of uh, break break and retest, 
it all means that you need to have a break at resistance and a break at support. Again, when we talk of resistance, you need to know how resistance is created. So a resistance is created when we have a green candle. So that is a green candle followed by a red candle. So this is how resistance is created. Anytime you want, you feel like you're a beginner, don't feel like you're a beginner if you don't know how resistance is created. So this is my resistance. That is how resistance is created. So resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red candle. So when we, if we talk of support, support is created when a red candle is followed by a green candle. So anytime you want to talk of support and resistance, number one, you have to understand how they are created, okay? So we have our support there and you have our resistance. So when I say break of break and retest strategy, they just need, it's just that they omit break of resistance, break of support. Then once the market breaks, it retests. It's, they omit so many things because they think you know. And that's why I am here to simplify. If you see Esther Murphy, I come to simplify, to allow things to just lay like on the ground, I try to dice to, to, uh, it's called what, to operate this body and I tell you what is this organ, what is this organ, slowly with no rush, okay? So we have a resistance created and you have a support created. So still this is not a complete break and retest because when we talk of break, we mean we have already identified our resistance and already identify our support. So what is being broken is this line. And how is this line being formed? I have shown you if it is a resistance, green followed by red, okay? So these are resistance. And this is our support. So we have resistance and we have support. So when we talk of breaking, we need this market to break. We need this market to break. And notice it is breaking with a body. So when we talk of break, it has to break with a body. So sometimes the market will break like that and it still has not retested. So when, when the market breaks like this, you now have an idea that the market wants to do a retracement first before it continues to buy. Majority of market do that, but not all the time. When we come to selling, how does the market break at support? The market will break at support like that. And that's now we will understand that support has been broken. And then now the thing that we are waiting is the retest. Understand guys, when the resistance is broken, the market can continue to buy up without retesting. So it's not like they have written, oh, because now it has broken. They can they can buy for one day. They can buy for two days. They can buy for one week before they come back to retest, okay? So when we say break and retest strategy, that is exactly what we say. Number one, we'll have to have a creation of a resistance. Number two, we'll wait that resistance to be broken. Number three, we will wait for the market to come and ret retest back. So as this market is coming back, so we have our red candle. As this market is coming back to retest, so what we do, we pay attention on what exactly is happening when the market is coming to retest. So I will show you the only way to trade break and retest, guys, is if the market has broken on the upper side, and it has come and it has retested like this. The only way for me how I have seen it work is if you look for a double bottom. So this is what I'm telling you. If you have a market that is going up, then comes and break this area. When it is coming to retest, if you want to make more money, just come and look for a pattern. So it is retesting, yes, but be on the look of a pattern like a double bottom for you to be able to do what? to buy because double bottoms are good for buying. So anytime you see market breaking and retesting, you are looking for those patterns, either double bottoms or double tops. So for the uptrend, and when resistance keeps breaking, when it is retesting down, you're interested on double bottoms. For downtrends, for downtrend like this, so the market comes and then breaks like this, it is coming to retest here. What we'll be waiting for is a double top and this double top may not be 
be uh, on the higher time frame. It may not be on the higher on that the same time frame. You may have to go and look that double bottom for another time, double top or double bottom for another time frame. So are you understanding what we mean when we say break and retest? So anytime you hear someone says, oh, I use break and retest strategy, there's nothing big they are doing. They're just waiting for a resistance to be broken. Then they wait for the market to retest. As the market is retesting, they look for a pattern, okay? So that is exactly what I've done here. So here, the market can either sell, can continue to sell like that, so that is what break and retest means. And another red candle can sell, but the market can now start coming up. And it is as it is coming up, because it is retesting, you'll be interested as it is reaches here, you'll be interested with a double top. So you'll be coming to check, do I have a double top, even if it's on a lower time frame? It's not necessarily you'll get a double top on the same time frame because these are double tops that we said they are. They are called OPT. So that's how me, I can advise you to trade a break and retest, guys. So let's now do the examples. I hope you have understood that break and retest, once the market retest, they break and they come to retest, look for a double bottom. Come here and look for a double bottom. When the market breaks on the support, come here and look for a double top. So I want us to do exactly that. Anytime you hear market breaking, you have to come and look for a pattern, okay? So I want us to, let me give you a, let me give you a, a good example where the market has broken and then uh, the market has broken and then we had, we had a double top on the lower time frame. So anytime you, you see the market breaking, the only thing that you can do guys is to check lower time frame and you will be good to go so here is here is a, a market that was going on an uptrend you can see here we have a market that is on an uptrend like i have said the market when it not uptrend downtrend we have a downtrend we have a downtrend and you want to sell this market but you don't know where to sell imagine if you sold immediately how would you have felt being taken imagine those people who sold around here they sell because the market has broken. So this is what happens. Once the market breaks, I have told you, you have to identify your support. So this is our support. You can see red candle followed by green. And then we have this supporting break. So the, the breaking of support. So if you need to, to trade break and retest strategy, if that's what you want to trade, you have first to identify a support you put a line, that support has been broken. Once this support has been broken, you will wait to see what will happen. Will the market come to the next? Will they come to this area? Can you see? Will they come to this area to retest? And then you can, you can notice either they come to this area and they form this double top. So you have a chance to trade a double top on the same time frame. That is the first chance. Or they can come and, and, and activate this area where we don't have a double top. We have to look on four hour. And another thing, this market is still ranging. You can see the market is ranging. The market is still ranging. So they can still break this resistance here. So you have three options. Majority of people, they will be waiting for the first one because it's obvious. When the market breaks and come to retest, it activates a double top to make it sell so it is obvious so what i can tell you is that don't go with the obvious that's why i tell people trading the unseen is very important so let's see what really happened to that market so you can see when the market broke this resistance we have said whenever the market breaks any resistance and is coming to retest it can be as a result of activating so it can either be activating a pattern or we can be waiting, it activates up. And you see this market, what they, they, they don't tell you is that what we will do. So once the market reaches a place like that, majority of people are waiting for their either to observe the market as it retest. But what happens is that again, the market has broken this resistance. So don't buy because you have seen the breaking of resistance. Just go to four hour. 
just go to four hour and you will see what is happening. So they, they make sure that on four hour we have that double top. So whoever was waiting for the double top at the peak of daily, they will be left there wondering what is happening. So they activated the double top on the four hour leaving everyone who was anticipating for the line. That's why I tell people, it's not necessarily because the market has, you know, people trade like this, because the market has broken this area. So you have a trade like that. So you think because the market has broken this area, it will come and activate exactly. It doesn't happen always. You already know the market can come to retest. So as it's coming to retest this zone, it can activate a double top on the way. And that double top is enough to take that market down. And that's what happens to this uh, GBP JPY. As the market broke this, um, this support, you can see the support here, it was coming to retest, but they know majority of people will be waiting at the peak here. So they activated a, 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 a double top on four hour. So if you were trading this double top on four hour, you would have used which strategy? CRB, CSB, sorry, CSB, current support break. And you already have your support there. So you'll be waiting for the market to do current support break. And then once you enter this market, you are going up to the half. Imagine, imagine that trade, trading like that. And that's how you trade break and retest where you are at an advantage. So you don't just trade because, oh, majority of people were entering by because of the breaking on, on, on four hours, uh, on the daily, but they didn't know what was happening. So having that break, can you imagine this trade was telling you, you can enter how many trade, how many pips? 500 pips, 500 pips, 500, 500. Break and retest is a very powerful uh, strategy. And the 500 pips, let's see, they hit the 500 pips from a break and retest from the daily. So that is for the breaking where it does on the, you see the breaking was the support area. So when the market breaks like this, let's try to trade a market that has broken on the upper side. This is the last example. We try the market that has broken on the upper side and we see, <clears throat> we see what really happened when we, 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 we trade the market that has broken on the upper side. Is it GBP? Let me give you a very good example. So I have here a very good example, a very good example. So this one, we had this market that uh, had a resistance. I told you resistance is a green candle followed by red. We have a resistance and our resistance happens to break. You can see breaking. So the question is, you anticipating the market to come and retest here. So there are two things that can happen. The market can come and activate. If you go on four hour and try to see, do I have a double bottom on four hour? You can see it can come and try to activate this hidden double bottom on four hour because retest, break and retest. If you want to trade it effectively and profitably, trade it with patterns. Once it break, go just look for patterns. So number one, they can come here. Or number two, they can activate this double bottom that we are seeing. So let's see what really happened with this. So majority of people will try to buy when the market is here and it's not a good idea because if it if starts to come down, it's 179 to the first double bottom. The second one is 323. You'll have lost a lot of money, a lot of money. So let's see what happens. Did the market, and you can see the market still continued to go up and what is happening, they are still trapping more buyers who would want to enter without a retest. Retest is good guys, because it gives you a hands up where the market wants to go. So you can see the market uh, is now beginning to range and they are not activating. So when we were waiting for the double bottom on four hour, 
what happened is that the market came and broke that double bottom. So it's not like it failed. The market just broke. So you will see, you will be waiting for double bottom to happen on four hour and the market breaks it on yours uh, on you so you you cannot so you, we are hoping now it will be it will activate the, the the next one so you just put those zones and you wait there is no one who will know this one is the zone they will take you just be alert so let's see what happens after that break and recess did they come to our next zone so they came and activated the next zone you can see and as they activated, you can see our double bottom has been activated. So here, if now we have a double bottom, remember this is a double bottom of a result of break and retest. The market broke resistance. Then as it was retesting, it activated a double bottom. So once that happens, once that happens, you will use WBB strategy. WBB strategy is when you check the first candle if it's a bullish angle. If not, this one is not a bullish angle. You can see it has not engulfed. If not, you put a box and you wait for the next green candle to break that. So let's see what really happened. So you can see the box, the market broke. You can see we had a box break. So the green candle, the market broke. And you can either target half and then once half is broken, you target you target neckline. So here, you would have targeted up to there. How many pips do you think there are those? Imagine just trading break and retest, 131 pips. So let's see what happened. Did it hit 131 pips? Yes, it did. So I just want to highlight to you guys that whenever you see market breaking, just go and look for a double bottom. If it is breaking downside, just go and look for a double top. If you want that, to try that strategy, just go and try and you will see if it is working or not. Anyway, guys, all the best uh, for uh, all the best in your trading. And uh, I will I will always highlight that I do not trade on behalf of of I don't trade on, on, on behalf of other people. So don't be scammed by people pretending uh, to be me trying to tell you that I trade on behalf. I do not trade on behalf. Again, this is my only trading uh, channel, uh, my, the, the, the public page. It has, I hope I'm sharing. It has 12,000 subscribers. This is a free, uh, free channel. So it has 12,000 subscribers. And guys, I want to share with you what I offer here. I offer free content, free signals. Uh, I post so many, even the Bible scriptures. This, this channel, it's good. I post, I post everything about here. So I have, if you don't know, I have classes that are starting next week on Monday, physical classes. They are starting next week on Monday. So if you don't, if you have not uh, registered, just register if you want to come to kenya and learn make sure you come to kenya and learn so i have this zoom uh zoom class that i i am i'm, I'm charging 1500 and it will be starting on october 20th so i have the zoom class that will be starting october 20th and it's only 1500 dollars i also have the cost, the recorded cost is $1,000. The reason I'm telling you is because even if we Google with you, so this is the Zoom Zoom Forex trading webinar. It will start on 20th of, of October. So if you're an international student, you just need to subscribe to this. It's a one month. Imagine in that one month, let me tell you what we'll be doing in that one month. In that one month of learning, number one, you will learn from the scratch, from beginning to the end. You will learn 10 profitable strategies. Three are for the ones that will help you to enter. Seven are just building your capacity. And then from that uh, mentorship, you will see how I trade live. And also I will invite you to trade live with me because those classes, they will be happening on Sunday and Tuesday. So this Zoom class, they will be happening on Sunday and Tuesday. Imagine on Sunday, I help you to have the PDF. And I, I think I did on our video how I arranged the PDF where I tell you this is the one that we are trading. So on Sunday, we do that. And then on Tuesday, we follow up. So it's like we are trading together. In fact, if you can pay attention on this class, 
you can make more than 1500 if you have a good account that is if you trade everything that i tell you so that that is the the zoom class we have the zoom class this is this one is the recorded course if you want recorded course even now as you watch you just need to inbox me there is the number there and then now this this is the class for excellence we in the month of excellence month of october and the reason why I'm, I'm I'm saying the offers that I have is because many people are being scammed out there and they are being asked crazy money investment. Those are not me. Even if right now we type Esther Moffrey, you will see like, let me just type Esther Moffrey. You see, the reason why I am saying what I offer is to prevent people from from following, following from like there's this group has 70,000 subscribers. You can see, this is not me, guys. This is not me. Don't be fooled by such groups telling you that people have been getting money. This is not me. That's why I will always highlight what me I'm doing. There's another one that is uh, scamming people with signals. Me, I'm not offering signals. So this one for 30,000 subscribers. This one now, they post, they post signals you can see they have even posted my class. And when they post this, they want just to, to show you that it's me. This is not me. This is not me. They have they have given you the poster. Everything is mine, even the poster. But don't be fooled. They they can post the poster to, to lie to people. And they have even photocopying what uh they just copied my, my channels and my trade that I give. And this is not me. Even the scriptures, you see the way they're saying this is not me, guys. The only thing, if you want to know my my mentorship, you just need to follow my video. So this is not me, these are scammers. The only channel is here. And that's why I'll be bold to tell you what I offer. Only three classes. I don't trade on behalf. I don't do Bitcoins. I don't do all that. Okay. All the best, guys. Uh, I hope you will practice the strategy. And uh, yeah, you will like it. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.